All right, we're back. Now I went on my own, and I now have enough money to buy all of the upgrades. Now, before I start, I had to redo everything. I'm gonna show off a clip that shows what happened the first time I tried recording. So, there you go. All right, we're back, and if I was able to get enough, just one extra coin on my own time. So I got Tempora Lock, Diablo, Fire Flam. There we go. We now have every single upgrade available in Fly 2. Now we just have to do our mission and end this game. Ooh, gotta run! Bye! <laughs> oh no! Fly lost his head! Now I know what happened to SGB. Hang on, I'm gonna cut out of here and cut back. Alright, and that was it. So, I apparently had the same thing that happened with me, just like with SGB. Fly lost his head and my game crashed. Well, either way, now that I was able to do it again, hopefully nothing, nothing happened again. Yeah, 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 one. Alright. Now that that's done. If anything else glitches out, I'm... Gonna be so sad. Alright. Alright, here we go. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build a plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. Hey, here we go. down Bentley he might be in one piece but he doesn't appear to be you know alive let's stick to the format here how about some recon photos you're right we need to be informed to create a plan of action try to get a shot of clockworks head a mech egg and one of those spinning magnetic inducers they seem important to the procedure but stay away from the guards if you get detected we won't have time for a second chance There's one. These magnetic inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. Hey, I'm mean, waiting for that guard to walk by. How to let that guard get around. Uh, 
and their clockwork Milan mug. Clockwork appears completely inanimate. We still might have a chance. Sly, I'm detecting voices from the front of the blimp. I think it's Arpeggio. Neela? Neela's here too! Our pencil. I can't believe it. She must have been working with our pencil all along. I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and our pencil have conspired together to rebuild clockwork, and it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley. I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop Clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull Clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. Then you'll need to manually reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. I'm the pet pot yet. Hang on. Wait. F1. F2. Three. And four. Now get to the speed control station to slow down the spinning inducers. There. Yep, but it takes some climbing and some landing. Wait a minute, just takes a bit. One. Four. What's all this then? The magnets have been reversed. But by Jove, 
It seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. Excellent. Yeah. Sly Cooper. Of course this would be your doing. Ah, Mr. Cooper. No doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. What? I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuit and be born anew. All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Immortality. Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal. So, what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members. All the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? You make it sound easy, Koopa. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Koopa. What kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? He was fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred! Putting his gears and wires together was child's play compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. Yeah. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, Hypnotist Extraordinaire, devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of light waves. The Northern Lights. You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah, hypnotize those who'd eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Cruel, perhaps, but necessary to give Clockwork his spark of immortality. Ah well, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Nila, and keep him covered. Ta-ta! Stupid arpeggio. I double-crossed the Cooper gang, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? Yep. This is preposterous! You're my protege, not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or... or... What oh. are oh, he, Nan? Uh oh. Yep, now things went from bad to worse. As we all know, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame, and the union has produced Clock Lock. She's out and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Clock Lock. She'll be immortal. But we nah. still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We've pulled off some tough jobs in the past, but they were just a warm-up round for what we'll be going through ah. tonight. 
Seriously, where are they getting these pictures? Alright, and we got multiple missions. We got one for Murray, one for Bentley, two for Sly. So it doesn't matter who we do first. Oh, since Murray is right there. Oh yeah, speed up. Like that. There we go. Murray, it looks like I'm gonna need some help getting into that engine room. Happy to help! Bentley tells me that the door to that room is locked down by wall-mounted power stations located throughout this blimp. I'll need you to take out all the power stations and then pry open the door by hand. No sweat, Sly. However, there's one cat. They're pretty scattered. The Murray doesn't know how to fly. There we go. Run. I got a long way to hurry can't climb the ladder. Grrrr. <laughs> 
turn, buddy. Careful, Sly. This place is packed with laser security. First, you'll need to make your way to the far end of this room. Then jump up to the second level to get at the engine room control center. Ah. Ain't it? All right, the control center is opposite your position in the room. With some well timed fire jumping, Darn it. you should be able to get access. Well, let me hear if I actually landed on it. No. That lights out for this engine. And not only that, you're her thing. really knew his encryption algorithms. As it stands, I'm only 86.5% convinced the code to the fall is 725. There. Shadow power. You got the shadow power. But it drains the energy very quick. Walk you out of here. And we'll do more in the next episode, because these fights are going to be a little longer than most. So tune in for more Sly 2 Band of Thieves. My name is Spike Lay, I hope you have a very good day.